Jacob had 12 sons, but Joseph was his favorite. Jacob's other sons hated Joseph. One day, Jacob sent Joseph to check on his brothers, who were tending to the sheep. The brothers saw Joseph coming, and they made a plan to get rid of him. They sold Joseph as a servant to some travelers going to Egypt. Then they convinced Jacob that wild animals had killed his favorite son. <laughs> Jacob was very sad. Meanwhile, the travelers sold Joseph to an Egyptian officer named Potiphar. The Lord was with Joseph and made him successful at everything he did. Potiphar put Joseph in charge of many things, and Potiphar was happy with him. But Potiphar's wife lied about Joseph, accusing him of doing something he didn't do. <coughs> Potiphar was angry, and he put Joseph in prison. God was still with Joseph and blessed him, even in prison. God gave Joseph the ability to understand the meaning of dreams. Years passed, and Joseph was forgotten in prison until Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, had two dreams. He sent for Joseph. Joseph explained the dreams. Egypt was going to have seven good years with plenty of food, followed by seven bad years of no food. Joseph told Pharaoh to save food during the good years to be used during the bad years. Pharaoh realized that God was with Joseph, so he made Joseph second in command in all of Egypt. Joseph stored away food during the good years. Then, during the famine, people came to him to buy grain. One day, Jacob sent 10 of his sons to Egypt to buy grain. The brothers came to Joseph and bowed down. Joseph knew who they were, but they did not recognize him. When Joseph was ready, he told his brothers who he was. I'm Joseph, he said. Don't be afraid. God sent me here so I could save your people, a remnant from the famine. Joseph's brothers went home to bring all their family and belongings back to Egypt. Jacob hugged his son Joseph, and they cried. Jacob's family was blessed in Egypt, but Jacob got older and died. Now Joseph's brothers were afraid Joseph would punish them for what they did to him. Joseph said, you planned evil against me. God planned it for good to bring about the present result the survival of many people. Joseph comforted his brothers and spoke kindly to them. God had a plan for Joseph's life. He allowed Joseph to suffer in order to rescue a whole nation. God planned for Jesus to suffer so that many people from all nations would be saved.